Today, you're going to learn how to upload your videos to YouTube with an easy 10-step process. And I'm going to show you that step by step. Let's go. Hi, my name is Antoine Dupont and welcome to another video. This channel is all about marketing for business owners, so if you want content like this, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. This is a hands-on tutorial, so let's go to my desktop. All right, so here we are on my desktop and the first thing you want to look for in the upper right hand corner is the little upload here and has a little plus sign that little camera and all you have to do is just click on it and it will give you two options upload a video or go live so we're uploading a video and we're going to click on that and here comes the second step which is to upload the file so you can click drag and drop in the middle of this or click on select files and go find the video file somewhere on your desktop for convenience i put one on my desktop so there it is i'm going to click on it i'm going to click on open and there it goes now that you've selected your file it's going into the third step which is opening up this dialog where it wants you to give a title to your video now for this video i'm going to name it how to upload a video to youtube there you have it. That's a good title because it's optimized for what people are searching for. The second part of step three is to add a description. So here is a description, at least the basic, right? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to upload a video to YouTube, but I'm also adding a link. So I think you need to take advantage. You have a lot of characters. You can actually put 5,000 characters there. So you want to put more description about what the video is about, but also all kinds of links about you. This is where people are going to find out about you and what you do. Now, the fourth step as I'm scrolling down, is the thumbnail so by default what YouTube is doing is it's taking three screenshots of the video so it's selected this one but I could select this one or this one but you have an opportunity to upload a customized thumbnail so once you've created your own thumbnail you basically click on upload thumbnail it goes to your desktop and here I've conveniently have a thumbnail I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna click open and there you have it all right so now I'm scrolling down and the next thing is the playlist you need to select a playlist 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 is how you organize your videos for the viewers if you don't have a playlist already created you just click on new playlist right there you put the name of your uh, playlist YouTube videos create select it click done and we're done with that the sixth step is to select an audience and this is actually really important and it's brand new as of January 1st uh, YouTube wants to know if your content is made for kids or not for kids now to the next step and to get to the next step we're gonna have to click on more options right here so let's click on this the first one is paid promotion so whether your content your video has any paid promotions in there and step seven is the tags. What you don't want to do with tags is stuff it with silly words like marketing or SEO or someone else's name because none of this is really going to be helpful. The video location is really important uh, for people that are geographically targeted. So for example, if all your video content and everything you do is about the city of Atlanta, that you absolutely want to make sure that you're putting your city right there. Be caption certification here. You want to make sure that you probably or for you are going to pick the first one this content has never aired on television in the US then you have the recording date here so if you want to put the recording date personally I never do it for any of my videos and the one just below which is the license and distribution by default should be on standard YouTube license then you have category so you can select the category that is appropriate for you once you're done with all this you're almost there you're gonna click on the button at the bottom that says next the ninth step is the end screen in the cards the end screen is what you're going to see in the last 20 second of the video let me show you how it works it is going to give you the opportunity to promote the next video for the viewer so when you're looking at the example they're giving you the little square represent a video that you can promote and the little circle represents a subscribe option so people could click on the subscribe button or click on the next video now the cards is the option to provide a link on the video for another videos for them to watch and you've probably seen that on the video where someone said 
just click right there and I put a link on the video. This is how it's done. It's done with the card. So let's just click on add and see how it works. Now you have the entire video and I could put the cursor wherever I say a hey, click here for the video. So let's just say it's at this spot right there in the video and I'm going to click on add a card. So if you want to add a video, you just basically click on create, pick any video that is appropriate. Just click on this one and boom, there you have it. You see the little eye right there. Once you're done and it's a little tricky here in the upper right hand corner, there is a button that says return to YouTube studio. That's what you want to click on. By the way, both of these are optional, so you don't have to do it, but I wanted to show you how it works. And once you're done with this, just click on next. And this is the 10th and final stage. You have three options to save your video private, unlisted and public private only you and people you choose can see this video so you can send a link to people and they can still see it unlisted is anyone with the video link can see your video in public which means the world for the vast majority of you this is what you want to pick you want to pick on public when you click on publish that video is going live for the world so if you're not sure or you want to run this video by someone the best thing to do is to click on listed and then you just click save and you're done all right, so that does it for today. If you got value out of this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and please make sure to subscribe before you leave. Ciao and welcome to another video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice warm up. Oh. Today you're going to learn, let me do it like more relaxed. This is a hands-on tutorial. Okay, that's enough. Now, if you're still here and you're wondering which video to watch, I would say watch this one.